field a race to 500 going on right now at Mark Christopher. Okay, by now you've probably at least heard the term mesh Wi-Fi, but maybe you aren't sure what that exactly means and what the benefits are and why everybody's talking about it all the time. So I made this video to try to help you guys decide if mesh networks or mesh Wi-Fi are right for you. Spoiler alert, I actually think it's really good for a lot of people. 
And full disclosure, Samsung sent me their latest one for this video. And actually that one in particular, I think probably has the most benefits of any of the ones that are out right now, as well as a couple of benefits that might push you over the edge to get a mesh network when you were kind of debating it before. But we'll get to more of that in a sec. First up, what is mesh Wi-Fi? Normally your Wi-Fi network in your home works by having a Wi-Fi router sitting in one spot connected to your modem, or it might be a modem router combo in one, and it projects a Wi-Fi signal within a certain radius around itself that allows your devices to then connect to each other or through the modem and to the internet. Now in a Wi-Fi mesh network, however, there is one main router that plugs into your internet modem in the same way a traditional one does. But then there are also other hubs that are identical to the main router hub that you can place throughout the house, generally on the edge of the original one's range, to then increase the range of the network. Now it essentially does this by having a super fast connection between each of the satellite hubs and the main hub plugged into the modem, and then each hub produces its own Wi-Fi network that your devices can connect to in order to communicate with each other or through the modem to, again, access the internet. Okay, so let's say, for example, you had 30 hubs all positioned in a cluster. And yes, a lot of these mesh systems support that many hubs. The smart things one I'm using supports up to 32, actually. The signal would not just get passed through the hub you're closest to, to the next one, the next, until eventually through to the main hub connected to the internet. It'll actually find the fastest way through the other hubs to do so. Even if that way isn't the same every time, uh, they use a different route. For example, let's say there's traffic on one of the hubs and it's being overutilized, it can actually skip that hub and use another one that's nearby. Now the most popular benefit of these mesh Wi-Fi networks, of course, is better range. Also, the satellite systems don't need anything besides being plugged into a power outlet either, so there's a lot of options on where you can put them. You can put these all over your house and cover it all in What's happening YouTube? Josh Tedder here from Six Months Later, and today we'll be taking a look at the Google within the app and it's easy to share to friends and family over a variety of communication methods like texting, email, Facebook Messenger, etc. Another great feature of the app is that you can prioritize specific devices on your Wi-Fi network to give them more bandwidth. I still can't believe how easy it is to do that and a lot of other things within this app which is great news if you're the type of person who isn't necessarily technical and especially doesn't want to futz around with all of the settings of a router and just wants the thing to work and you get great performance and everything just works really well. Now this is definitely the case for my parents who I gifted a three pack of the Google Wi-Fi routers to for Christmas. My parents were previously using an ISP router and modem, which in my opinion is a big no-no if you actually want good home Wi-Fi. When we set up the Google Wi-Fi mesh network, they were astounded at the difference it made between what they had previously and what they now have. With the Google Wi-Fi mesh network, not only could they get signal at the opposite end of their house, they now get full bars in the credit to Google. One nice thing that the app does when you set up an additional Wi-Fi point is it will actually tell you if the Wi-Fi point you're setting up is in a good location in your residence and will receive a strong signal from the main router. Now when you have a Google Wi-Fi mesh network made up of multiple Wi-Fi points, what happens is the Wi-Fi device you're using Another great feature that I you can group your kids' devices together and then called family Wi-Fi. And you can of course block anything over a thousand square feet. I'd at least look at the three pack, but you don't necessarily have to. I can't recommend the Google Wi-Fi home mesh routers enough. They're simple to use. They have one of the best designed apps I've ever seen. They have great performance, give your entire residence full Wi-Fi coverage, and make managing a Wi-Fi network as simple